two uh, guys who were bringing the sound system around with us earlier. I did seven tours with these guys. It was the end of the seventh tour that Rob told me that he had presided over the first rock and roll of electrocution with that very sound system. That was not his fault. That's back when they had no ground. Nowadays, the most dangerous thing on the stage are the lights. That's why these are out where they are, so they fall on you instead of me. See safety chains in every one of them. At least you should. <laughs> but you know, it is a benign workplace. It's a ball. I mean, I get to do this and I don't know why. In the bar, uh, Jeff, the other of the two sound men, by the way, Rob was one of the one was uh, in a cover band in, the, in Wales. They're they were both Welshmen, and uh, they and when when Rob was uh, 14, he was the oldest in the band, and they were the Welsh. This is what you'd see on the marquee: the Welsh Jackson Five. I said, "Did that work?" He said, "Oh God, yeah." routine where the curtain would go up and before the curtain would go up you'd hear uh, uh, one note being held on the Hammond B3 with the last thing spinning and, and you know they'd hold it for as long as they felt like it building the tension in the crowd and all that and then the curtain would go up there'd be a count and Rob would take his finger off the note the crowd would go wild it worked every time just like the Jackson 5 and one night, uh, 14, he'd, he'd run into some Welsh LSD. <laughs> they took the LSD, hit his note, and when the count came and the curtain went up, he couldn't let go of the note. <laughs> so they added it a long, long strip. excited every time I get in the truck. Those guys never get off the road. So it's great to be here. This is a song called uh, Gevabig a Beat. I named it something that nobody would pronounce, remember, or play on the air because of that, at least because of that.
Thank you.